morning. Look at that. Welcome to the channel. I'm Jack Porter. This is the Motor Mobile channel. This is the ABR weekend. And as you know, I was going to the ABR festival. But now I'm not. I sold my ticket. I didn't think, um, I, I just didn't want to be in a place where loads of people were going to be around and you know, well, I mean, most of you already know that. People who watch the channel regularly already know that. So today I'm heading off on a bit of a uh, three-day exodus, a three-day jaunt up to the northwest, and we are just inside Scotland in the Galloway Forest. Dumfries and Galloway area is where we're going, and it's somewhere I've wanted to go for a long time. So. I'm going to treat this as a reset ride, take two, I suppose, just for my own mental health. So we're going to jump on the A1, shoot up to Darlington. I'm going to turn the cameras off because this bit's going to be really boring. Go and get yourself a cup of tea or a brew or whatever you, whatever you fancy, and we'll kick this little mini tour off. I'll see you very soon. Turn you back on at Dar Darlington, darling, darling. Yes, darling. Laters. Laters. Right, so we are currently at Scotch Corner. I've just had my coffee. I was ready. I was ready for that. So we've got less than half a tank, so I'm just going to top up. And then uh, get going. Get gone. Right, okay, so we are currently at Scotch Corner. Next uh, next turn off, we're going to turn off just south of Darlington and then we're going to start heading west towards Barnard Castle and then a very exciting little road to go on. Oh yeah, this is Barnard Castle. So we have come in a different way. why it brought us that way then. I wasn't expecting it to do that. Satnav had a bit of a, oh, I don't know what it's done. It took us on a different route. Barnard Castle folks, Barnard Castle. Looking for a Vision Express. Very nice little place. There's a pub down here on the right hand side. Spent a few happy hours in there the other, uh, when was it? Was it last year, year before? Probably the year before. The Well Inn, there we are. The Well Inn. Yep. Had a few nice beers in there a couple of years ago. And uh, just to bring everybody up to speed, so I am having a drink again now. I'm trying to moderate what I drink though. I just found that I was being too much of a boring arsehole. The non-drinking thing did me a lot of good and it came at the right time. I just got to a point where I, I just really needed a bloody pint. So I had a drink and I tell you what, I felt so much better, so much better for just having a drink and chilling and just forgetting about all of the crap just for, well, that day especially, that day especially, I, 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 the, the urge to have a drink, I know I'm spluttering a bit, but 
The urge to have a drink that day was so strong. I forget how many days I'd done without having a drink, but that day I just really needed a pint. Anyway, this is the great little road that I was talking about, um, the B6277. So this takes us across country, uh, the same as the A66 does, but I have this hatred of the A66. It's such a horrible, horrible road. It's so busy. I just think it's just really dangerous, especially for bikers. This road is a beautiful road. It's a great route. Yeah, it's slower, you know, you don't get there quite as quick, but um, so what? do get to do a cracking road you go through some lovely villages and we go up into the hills a bit later on as well it's just stunning we'll see So, great little uh, ride up. We're now at uh, Alston. Nice little place with the bins behind the co-op. an issue with my camera look the bloody mount has so this is a chin mount and it's failed so <laughs> what the hell I mean what the hell what am I gonna do about this guys what am I gonna do well a bit of an update then um, so my camera was hanging off so this is a chin mount okay this little thing here is a chin mount I don't know whether you can see that and um, it just started peeling off and the camera was just hanging down 
I mean, that is its job, right? And it, it wasn't peeling away from the helmet. The chin mount was actually peeling away from the um, adhesive pad itself. So it's so like, well made there, chin mounts. I will be emailing you and asking for a refund. That's 30 quid for a poxy bit of plastic. Uh, anyway, so yeah, had a few issues, let's say. Um, back on track now. I just rode about 10 miles at that last road, holding the camera, holding it onto the helmet. Uh, so now, every toolbox needs this gaffer tape. Roll a gaffer tape in your toolbox. It, you know, you never know when you're going to need it. Just used it. That's what saved the vlogging. It's it's just brilliant stuff, isn't it? Gaffer tape. I might have to redo it later on but for the time being as an emergency mend it's doing the job so two and a half hours of riding left uh, hopefully this this road now that we're on this is the a756 now so this should take us down towards the coast wow that countryside really lovely 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 So the countryside's changed. We've now got a few big hills in the distance. It does feel, I mean, these houses are really quite Scottish, aren't they? The Grey hurled walls. What's that place there then? I don't think I've ever been here. Chapter house in the church. I don't know what it is exactly. Oh, look at that coast. Look at that. Imagine looking there with that view. Drop burn viewpoint. Let's go down there. <laughs> Not as far as I thought. That is one vast expanse, isn't it? Kirk Bean. Why do so many places do that? I have a lay-by eventually. Um, there's no view, you cannot see a thing because it's all bloody trees. Look at it. Look at this place, it's a beautiful place. Stunning. Need more places to park though. It's all double yellow lines. Roads are great, roads are really good. <laughs> and if this is anything to go by, then we're in for a real treat tomorrow because I asked on Twitter when I decided that uh, I was going to come up to Galloway, uh, Galloway Forest, Dumfries and Galloway to give it its correct name. But when I said I was going to come up here, I asked for recommendations for roads on Twitter and uh, Honestly, my wonderful Twitter crowd all gave me recommendations. So there's people who live up here, Mad Dave lives up here somewhere, all gave me some fantastic recommendations of roads to travel. And these weren't them. 
And the, these roads, this one, this is the A711. Uh, no one recommended this to me. Um, someone else said, do uh, sort of stick to the coasts because uh, those roads are all good. So whoever that was, thank you. Thank you for that recommendation. But most of the recommendations were for roads further up. The whole area looks Oh, fantastic. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, well, if the weather stays the same as it is today, that would be brilliant. Um, I, think, I think we're in for a little bit of rain in the morning, but seriously, this afternoon was supposed to be absolutely pouring rain all afternoon, and all we had was that little bit coming in between between Gretna and Dumfries that's the only bit that we've had so uh, yeah I think we're in for a rare treat tomorrow hopefully this wind will die back a bit uh, as well and I can get the drone up tomorrow because it's just way too windy for flying the drone today Abbey. We need to go down there and just get a photo at least. There's pity about <laughs> the steel container. Oh, you can't have it all, can you? in again gonna have to change gloves and but not stop it's not rained anywhere near as hard as it said it was gonna rain or as or as much so uh, thankful for small mercies in that respect scenic area. Another absolutely fabulous road. This is the, uh, is this the A75? I'm not sure actually. It says A75 on my app but I think um, the A75 is a busier, bigger road. I don't think this is it. Oh, I'll tell you what this is. This is the end of the uh, coastal bit. So we're going to go on to the A75 and then do a bit of uh, twisty stuff. Yeah, A75 to Strand Ra is here. So we will be going back on some of this later. Pretty cheap. cameras playing up so when the red lights on full time you can't turn it on so it's something to do with charging and it doesn't like being charged at times this is the same so when that red light goes solid like that 
it means that you just cannot turn it on and it with this one I have to take the battery out of it and just shove it back in again literally just to short circuit with this one you can't do that because the battery is inside it so you just have to unplug it wait for that red light to go out and then plug it back in press play and ponty presto you're off again and it works fine but Jesus Christ GoPro what the, what the hell got to admit it's a bloody stunning area so we're now north of the A75 and north of Castle Douglas but we're heading uh, well according to that we're heading east uh, oh, yeah we're heading east at the moment but I think what happens is this goes up and then comes back down towards um, Castle Douglas. We come to that Castle Douglas from the north. We've just got 25 miles left today. What time is it now? 20, 25 past two. So we'll get there for around three-ish by the time I finish fannying about and taking photos and stuff. I think that's a reasonable enough time today because we started super early. We're on the road at 10 to 5 this morning. We've got a big day's riding tomorrow as well. Northumberland on the east coast. It's just stunning. Lovely, lovely place. It just goes to show, do not need to go all the way up to the Highlands to ride beautiful roads, amazing roads in beautiful countryside. It's quiet, look how quiet it is. Yeah, all right, the A74 was busy, but... A75, 75, why do I keep calling it 74? No idea. But, you know, apart from that, there's not a lot of traffic around. What are we today? June the 23rd, are we today? Yeah, I think it is, 23rd. So it is, you know, holiday season, well into the summer. In fact, we've just gone past the solstice, so, you know, coasting into winter. That's a long way away, but you know what I mean. It'll be with us before you know it. But this place is pretty quiet. So my plan for next year is to come up here for a week 
and just ride between Northumberland and Galloway. Look at that. Yeah, North, Northumberland. Uh, we'll do some of the 250 roads. Uh, find some different routes as well. So I'll ask the Twitterverse because that seems to be a great place to get riding information and uh, hopefully meet up with a few people next year. Go for ride rides out or whatever. Meet for a coffee. Nice roads where they live. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. That sounds good to me. So I've planned that for probably this time of year. So probably get wet again. Or I may even do it later on in the year. God, look at those big trees. Tall. Uh, yeah, I may even do it later on in the year. I don't know yet. I mean at the embryonic stage uh, so I won't be going to PCOS next year my choices are um, if I did Galloway for a week this end of the year then uh, what do I do in September and I may go to the Pyrenees never done the Pyrenees and, uh, it might be uh, a nice place to go I don't know, what do you recommend guys and girls, what do you recommend I recommend getting some different camera equipment can't afford to change again Jesus, I've only just replaced all my camera kit for a bag of crap it seems so that's pretty much it then for day one. We're just heading into Castle Douglas now. We're heading that way. We're six miles away. So it's been uh, an interesting day. Quite a few technical issues. Uh, a little bit of rain around. Not as much as was forecast. So I'm extremely grateful to the weather gods for that. Still a bit tree, but uh, apart from that, Jesus up wind. Apart from that, uh, yeah, it's been a good day. It's been a good day. What a stunning area! Tomorrow should be a fantastic day. So we've got a full day planned for tomorrow. I think there's getting off for nine hours of riding tomorrow. So tomorrow is a, is a big, big day. A lot of miles. May have to cut it down. All depends. See how, see how we're getting on. See how we're getting on. Um, I mean, these roads are not fast to travel at all, so um, we'll have a full day at it. Looks like it. So here we are at the hotel. It's not the loveliest, I grant you. Uh, let's just show you around. So it's a twin. Mm. Like I said, not the prettiest. Uh, still, it serves a purpose and it's just for two nights. So uh, suck it up, get on with it. So. The route we came today then, where did we come? Uh, so we came Darlington, Darlington's down here, and we came up this road, the B6277 uh, to Alston, and then up this way, and across to Gretna, where we picked up the A75, not a nice road, the A75, till we got to Dumfries, and then we dropped south, and then we came down here, this this area down here is just amazing. There's Solway Firth, absolutely beautiful area. Uh, round through Kakubri uh, and then back up to Newton Stewart. 
And then we took the A712 up here, past Clattering Shores, New Galloway, and then back down here. And then uh, a little bit along the A75 again, down into Castle Douglas, where we are now. So this is where we are now, Castle Douglas. Um, nice little town. Uh, staying at the Imperial Hotel. Uh, you've seen the room. <coughs> um, not the nicest, I have to say. Um, but like I say, it serves a purpose. I'm only here two nights. Uh, tomorrow, I've got a big day on the bike. It works out about nine hours, so nine hours riding. That <laughs> it's 320 odd miles, so I may cut some of that out. There, there's plenty of sort of loops that I can cut out, and, and you know, we don't we don't have to do it all. Uh, so yeah. Um, might have an early start. Breakfast doesn't start until late, but I don't eat breakfast anyway, so we'll just get out there and um, crack on with it. Early doors, perhaps. So uh, I'll see you in the morning. I'm off out now for some food. There's an Indian takeaway, uh, no, an Indian restaurant up the road. Um, what's it called? The Jewel in the Crown. I'm gonna go and try that out, see what it's like. So I'll see you in the morning. Bye for now.